YouTube, what's up? It's French Poodle 08, and right now, where I've been living at, I've kind of outgrown it, so I started looking for a new place, and unfortunately, I almost got scammed, and I want to let you guys know what happened, so hopefully, a similar thing won't happen to you guys and you guys won't also get scammed by some of these crazy people out there. So, I started looking for an apartment and you know, I checked the typical website like apartment.com, rent.com, Trulia, you know, all these different, you know, websites and I even looked in the newspaper, like, the newspaper. So somebody told me to look on Craigslist and you know Craigslist is all Craigslist is already a little you know shysty and it's not the most trusting place to get anything because you know people just be lying and running crazy schemes and stuff like that so I'm like okay I'm smart enough to know a scheme when I see it or at least I thought so I started looking around and so right now I live in like an apartment complex and I really don't want that for my next place. I really want to just rent a home from somebody or just be in a smaller apartment um, type of thing. I, like I don't want a big high rise building. Like I'm not interested in that anymore. So I saw an ad for someone who had a two bedroom apartment for nine hundred dollars with some of the utilities included and no it wasn't nine hundred I think it was like a thousand dollars or something but it was unusually it was like dirt cheap for this area like I live in DC and everything here is definitely a lot a lot more expensive than other places like I've lived in Florida and one thing that I definitely miss about living in Tallahassee, Florida is the cheap rent for the apartments down there because they do not compare to what I have to pay up here. So, you know, that's not the point. So, I see this ad and, you know, the pictures in the ad, of course, they look great. And, you know, so I contact the the person in the ad. I'm like, okay, so what's up with this place? So, he sends me an email you know, like telling me his life story, like how he moved away because he's in the army and he doesn't have anybody up here to really like show the place. So I'll have to. So he sent me like additional pictures of what the place looks like. And he's like, you're basically going to have to just trust me on this and, you know, apply and get the keys and, you know, get the whole sign a lease without seeing the place firsthand. And that's a big no no. Like, I know in extenuating circumstances, let's say if you're moving from one city to another and it's like a rush thing, you may not have had, you may not have time to go look at a place, you know, beforehand or something. Like, I know a couple of people who, you know, maybe they move, uh, like graduated from college and you get a job in another state and you kind of have to just accept the housing that you, you know, kind of stumble upon. But, you know, that's not my situation, so I wasn't going for that. So I'm just like, okay, red flag number one, you want me to lease a place without having even seen it once? Nah, boo. So then he sends me the application, and then he's like, oh, well, if I accept your application, I will have to mail you the keys to the house because, you know, again, I don't have anybody in the area that can show you the place or to really kind of help me out in this whole leasing, renting process. And I'm just like, come on now. It is 2016. So you mean to tell me you can't find a realtor that can kind of facilitate your whole uh, leasing procedure or something? Like, come on now. Like, I don't know how much real estate agents will cost like, or how much their fees will be if you had a house that you wanted to rent out. But I know it can't be that much. If you're already willing to lower the rental price of your unit, you should be able to, you know, to a, a point that's like dirt cheap for the area. Like, first of all, it's in Washington, D.C. I know some people say they might live in D.C., but they really live in like Maryland or Virginia. But this place was actually in D.C. in a nice neighborhood and 
it's a two bedroom house. Like you can't get a two bedroom anything in DC for less than I think the cheapest I've ever seen a two bedroom in DC was maybe like twelve hundred, and that's um, and that's twelve hundred. That's on the lower income side of town, or you know, less affluent neighborhoods. So I was really concerned about that. And I'm just like, wait a minute. I need to do some research on this because this don't, you know, it was too many things not adding up. So I did this whole like Google search on just like Craigslist scam. And apparently a lot of people, they don't try to, you know, they've gotten a little sophisticated with their methods. And they don't just try to scam you just like out of your money. But what they want now is your information. So even if they don't ask you for money up front, the fact that they're sending you a rental application to fill out and having you, you know, put all of your information in it, sometimes that's all they need. They just need you, you know, to put where you lived at before, your mama's, at, your mama as your emergency contact, your most rental application have your social security number so that they can run your background check and sometimes that might be all they need. They need your social security number, your name, and maybe an address and a valid phone number or something to make it sound credible. And with that information, they can get credit cards, they can get loans, they can probably steal your whole identity and you don't even know it until years later. So, like, I was just so surprised by all this stuff that I was finding out. And I'm like, oh my God, like these people out here that are doing it are so horrible like if i didn't really think about it, like because i even talked to my boyfriend about it and he was like you know what let's let's just look into it and then we'll just back out if things start sounding fishy and you know sometimes some of these people they'll even they won't even own the home that they're renting out or sometimes in the in my case it wasn't even a real house so the address that the guy put in the ad I was like, okay, well, Google Maps is the bomb because they have that Google Earth view where you can actually see the real location of the address that you're looking for. So I typed in the address into Google and come to find out it's an apartment complex. Like, it's like a huge, big complex. It's not even like a single family home, which is what the guy told me. And I'm like, at first, I thought maybe I put the address wrong because in the way DC is set up, we have Northeast, Northwest, Southeast, Southwest, and sometimes if you have the quadrants wrong, you can, you know, you can get the whole address wrong. They can be, like, for example, they can be like a 1234 Main Street, and they could be one in Southeast, they could be one in Northeast, so it's like, it's really important to get that you know the the quadrant that the that the address is it's very important to get that right so i double checked again and i had it right so i looked at it and i'm like there is no way that these pictures that this guy is sending me are pictures of this big complex that i'm seeing on google maps and Google is a lot of things, but they little maps, it don't be wrong that often. Because I I've, I have seen that little car with the little camera on top of it going through the neighborhoods and taking pictures of things before. So, I knew this, this it wasn't adding up. So, I contacted the guy. I emailed him again. And I'm like, oh, um, I, is this a scam? Because I looked up the address and this actually isn't a house. And, you know, so I kind of voiced my concerns about it. And, of course, he didn't get back to me. Mm-hmm. Little trifling self. I caught you. Little nasty. I was so upset. Like, because I really... Because it's like sometimes... I guess the the way that these people get away with it is because oftentimes you can find yourself in a situation where you're in a hurry or you're rushing or you're kind of desperate to move out or to find a place to live and these creeps they kind of feed off of that emotion like you know oh my god i of course you know whenever you start a, a an apartment search you already have your price point in in mind you already have you know an idea or at least a general idea of some of the things that are important to you some of the things that you want that you don't want and I knew that it's like right now I'm very price sensitive because it's like I want to make sure that you know I spending how much I want to spend on an apartment I don't want to be living paycheck to paycheck trying to live lavishly you know, when I know, you know, my pockets ain't about that life. So, 
the fact that these people are doing that, it's really, it's really messed up. And I want y'all to be careful out there if you are looking for apartments. And just for like tips, you know, just general tips out there. If you're looking for a place, don't fill out like I honestly I don't like to fill out any forms until I've seen the place and I'm you know somewhat satisfied with what it is if I haven't even seen it yet I'm probably not gonna give you more than my name and my email and then the email that I give them isn't even my personal email that I use on regular I have a third email account that I kind of use as my spam account so this email this is usually what I use like when I'm online shopping or something or if I'm you know, just signing up for random stuff just so that it won't kind of spam my work related email so if you're in an apartment if you're apartment hunting you know you, that may be one of the things that you consider just kind of setting up an uh, a extra email account just so it's all that apartment stuff can just go into one account and it won't and it won't bother you too much but you definitely want to be very careful with what information you give out who you give it out to and just don't be afraid to ask questions if you are renting a home from somebody uh, don't be scared to ask them like yo I need to see proof that you own this house because I've read stories online where people they'll rent a house from somebody and then months later they'll find out that oh the real owners may have been like out of town on an extended you know work trip or extended vacation or you know or maybe they were in the armed forces and they were just deployed in another country so it's so many crazy things out here that happen so it's like you got to be very careful and then don't let your time constraint or your you know high need for housing kind of you know overshadow the fact that you need to be very careful in this process but that's all for now if you out there searching for a place just be very careful consider using like a real estate agent or some of these you know bigger more credible companies to kind of help you in your search and if you're in a DC area and you need you know like some tips or something or if you want uh, apartment recommendations definitely feel free to hit me up because I know a couple of really really good places but that's all for now don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and if you've ever been scammed on Craigslist you know with this whole rental situation let me know your story like put that in a comment so then we can chat about that and yeah let's get that conversation going but I'll see you guys in the next one deuces